We were going to Sai Baba Centre to do some service, you know. Then uh, Dr. Play once saw me and then he told me, why don't you come to Hindi Centre and set up a library? So I rallied round, got a few friends, my sister, uh, Sushila and a few other t retired teachers. And we set up this library. The library started, you know, then we asked for contributions from books. So most of the guests who come there, the members of the Hindu center, brought their books. Beautiful old, old books, you know. Some in loads, they would come and put. These were old, uh, ancient, you can say, um, religious books on different saints and so on. So it took us every day, we would go there and sit down and sort out the books and we cleared the, uh, the rooms upstairs and set up a beautiful library and recorded the books. It took us a few months and then uh, we opened the uh, opening ceremony and everything we had. It was good. Then after that, I think about two or three years later, I stepped down. But what made me sad was when we went with the Sai Baba group, to a uh, center. This is not Sandler for money, you know, one of the centers we went to. And there, there were youngsters coming in to sit down for tea time. I thought those elderly people, but when I went there, we had cooked and taken cakes and things. When they brought them in, I saw a lot of youngsters boys, girls, all say about 18, 20s, coming in and sitting, talking to themselves, some quiet. So when we say serve the curry puffs, they took happily and ate, they served the cakes. I saw this, I ran behind the hut, it was the room. I couldn't stand, I stood behind and I cried. Please don't, this is my feeling. This happens in Singapore. Cried and cried and cried. The others came to concern me. I couldn't get over the fact youngsters at that age are going off, which in Singapore we don't know. How could this be? Chinese boys, handsome, tall boys, big size. All. Why? Either studying too hard, cannot get what they want. Depression, depression, which the government doesn't tell us all. We don't know. Unless you go there, you see that. Then what is it? Our system, our education system, or what is it that forcing our children? No job, nothing. Then we parents push them. All this is very worrying. I couldn't get over that. I told after that I don't want to go. I contribute, but I won't go because you see it, you get worked up. Where did we fail? As teachers, where did we fail?